Hello, everybody. I'm your host, Eric Byrne, here at StopStrugglingNow.com. And today, we're going to talk about Dominican Republic Weekly. All-time record highs. Oh, yes, ladies and gentlemen. You know from January through November 30th, 2023, all-time record high. Well, now it's December 26th. And the Dominican Republic was trying to break the 10 million record mark annually. Did they do it? Once you include air visitors and cruise visitors combined, stay tuned and welcome. Stop struggling now gear. Check and please like, subscribe and click the bell below so you get the latest updates. Now, let's get to it. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. I want to thank you so much for being here. Why? Because you need to share the videos. And please, like, smash the like button, and let other people know, as I've mentioned. Now, let's get into it, shall we, ladies and gentlemen? Because we're going to the Stop Struggling Now YouTube channel page. I want to thank everybody for getting us over the 15,000 subscriber mark. Make sure you share the video. And again, down below in the description box, please go to the bottom and sign up for the newsletter. It's going to come in handy this year because we're going to have our May 10th through the 15th. And actually, it's going to be May 9th through the 15th that we have something special brewing in the Dominican Republic for everyone around the world. That's right. But it's real estate investing business investing and business forum business business discussion along with hey gotta have a little music right now let's talk about we're on the stop struggling now youtube channel page podcast page make sure again you notice the members a few of them are shown here and i thank all the members of the channel i humbly appreciate your support over all these years and because they're members of the channel, they receive one or two videos per month specifically for them. They're the only ones that can join me on a live stream on Wednesday nights. Because our Wednesday night live stream members can be in the chat room. Everybody else can watch. And then members can always join me on any live stream because they receive a link under the community tab. And they receive special messages under the community tab. And they also have special emojis. Now, let's get into it, ladies and gentlemen. Anybody investing in Punta Cana area is going to be very, very happy. Why are you going to be very happy? Well, not because of this. Because this right here is where Supreme Court Dominican Republic halts construction of Bavaro International Airport that they were trying to make somewhere out by Michi's or Macau. It's been somewhat of a problematic situation, but it's over. The Supreme Court, the Third Chamber Supreme Court of Justice in Dominican Republic has rejected an appeal by the Bavaro International Airport, affirming a ruling that deemed the airport's construction harmful to the collective interests and in ordinance of succession. The decision led by judges, and they named them, and it says read more. Now, when we read more, we're going to find out for some strange reason the defendants didn't even show up. That's what they're saying. This is crazy. So here it is. The sentence 
issued on December 22nd noted the absence of interested party in presenting a defense or relevant documentation despite being summoned multiple times. This absence was considered a fault on their part, and you guys know what happens if you don't show up to court. That's not good. So either they have abandoned this location and will try to get a different location, of course it would have to be further west, I would imagine. That would probably be ideal if you're going to get any type of approval. And I think myself, because of the Mexican company who does a few international airport locations around the world, I think that's their most likely objective. So we're going to find out about this, ladies and gentlemen. And I find that very, very interesting for the future. But what I want to show you is something a little bit more spectacular than that. And this here, ladies and gentlemen, is what is important for the Punta Cana area, the eastern province of all the Dominican Republic. This is outstanding, in my opinion, if you are investing near Punta Cana. That could be Cap Cana, that could be by eBay, that can be Punta Cana, that can be Verone, that could be Michis, that could be Macau, because 67% of all travelers are coming into the Dominican Republic through the Punta Cana International Airport. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. Some of you should be very, very excited. During the first 10 months, now remember, this is only through October 31st. So keep in mind, we don't know what's gonna happen at the end of the year when January data comes out, but I have a feeling it'll still be around 67, 66%, which is outstanding for us investors in that region. Punta Cana International Airport emerged as the primary entry point for foreign visitors to the Dominican Republic, handling 67.71% for all you on podcast. You know what that means? 3,788,198. You can divide that by 10. That's roughly 378,000. We like that number. But I guarantee you, 600 and some thousand came in November, as you would have known if you saw the last Dominican Republic Weekly. Now, what happens? They are definitely going to be in the 4 million range, but I have a feeling they could possibly make it to the upper 4 million, almost like 4.8, 4.7 million, just coming through the Punta Cana airport. That would be incredible because next year, here's the record, they're going to break it again. They're going to have over 5 million. And if they reach 5.2 million, which is a high probability because I have some more to show you, that means 100,000 visitors per week on average. And as you guys know, January, February, March, April, and even May, June, July, August, is now prime time almost in the Dominican Republic. Low season is almost like November, October, which is great. That is beautiful for everybody, ladies and gentlemen. All right, just keep this in mind. So you wanna know what's happening elsewhere? Las Americas International in Santo Domingo, 19.58% of these arrivals, almost 20%, which is a good thing as well top two destinations, and then it drops off dramatically. Porta Plata catered to 4.68%. Cebo International Airport, 5.5%. La Ramana, a low 1%. Samana, lowly 0.95%. And the last one I'm not familiar with, La Isabella, 0.54%. So again, this is great. January through October 2023, making or marking a 16% increase from the same period in 2022 when the visitor count was 4.7. Notably, the number of foreign visitors alone rose by 12.5%. Is that sweet or what? Now, when you start breaking it down, over half of the arrivals were from North America, 
That's 53.13%. If anybody's keeping stats, South American visitors accounted for 16.89%. European travelers made up 16.6%. Central America, 9.61%. Asian arrivals at 2.84%. And visitors of other parts of the world constituted the remaining 0.88%. That should get people excited. And in two years, they will definitely be over 100,000 visitors per week on average. So what will it be? 120, 140? Well, ladies and gentlemen, right now, December 26, Dominican Republic welcomes record 10 million tourists in 2023. They've done it, ladies and gentlemen. Again, this includes air and cruise. So remember, people get back on their cruise ships traditionally. We are talking somewhere around over 2 million plus passengers by cruise this year and that allows us to do something very differently because next year they're going to have more cruise ships they're going to have more air traffic and visitors to the island so the record next year will they're going to break this year's record for sure how do i know this if you haven't been paying attention, this is how we know. We know there's some new airlines on the scene. Even if they bring in just by themselves an additional 100,000 visitors per month, that's another 1.2 million. When they added more cruise ships in Puerto Plata and other locations around the island, like Pedernales is gonna have cruise ships next year, this 2024, that means more cruise passengers are coming. It's in stone, ladies and gentlemen. So you should be awfully happy about this is all I can say. So here we are. David Collado is doing his damn thing. Social media celebrating this landmark. They predicted they would get 10 million. I predicted they would break the record for air travelers, which they did. And we know they're going to break the record next year for air and cruise, just like I said. I'm sorry, ladies and gentlemen. If somebody thinks it's not going to happen, please let me know down below. I don't see how it's going to be stopped because of this right here. Aerojet has come on the scene. Aerojet reaches new record with 54K passengers in November. This is why I keep saying, you know, American Airlines increasing more flights, you have more flights to South America, Central America, and the Caribbean. All these deals are bringing 10,000 more, 20,000 more, 50,000 more per month. Again, you start doing and adding this up, there's gonna, they're going to add another at least probably 2 million just by the likes of the Aerojets and some other sky highs. And there's a couple others, and they're doing inter-island airport hopping so now a person can come in at Punacana. they can come in into santo domingo and then they can get up to harabacoa right up in the mountain region a little bit because they can go to Cebu. so this is what's going to change the game for a lot of people because they don't have to worry about transportation that train that they're going to have going between santo domingo and Punacana area that means that little corridor on the eastern province is going to heat up especially if they actually build a real train that can go like you know 100 200 well i won't get carried away but 100 miles per hour can you imagine getting down there in a short amount of time not taking like three hours can you believe if that occurred there'd be a lot of people they wouldn't care what airport they're landing at and by the way, Open Skies Agreement, has all, it should also come about this year in 2024. It should be all ratified and everything should be approved. Let's get to it, ladies and gentlemen. Aerojet, a Dominican airline, has set a new record in its 14-month operation by transporting a total of 54,243 passengers in November. Why is that significant? November is not the highest month. What do you think they're going to do in the month of December? They're going to do more than 54,000. January, February, March, April, May, they're going to do more than 54,000 in all those months as well. Is it going to be 10,000 more, 15,000 more, 20,000 more? My guess, I'd be willing to bet you it's going to be 20,000 more easily. 
So again, if they reach 70,000 a month, that is good. If they reach 100,000, which I would not predict that, but I will go somewhere between 75 and 100 for at least nine out of the 12 months next year. All right. They've made some great deals. I have to admit they've done some good things. So look at making the uh, Dominican Republic a new air hub in the Americas, North America, South America. So he shared that over 54,000 passengers, more than 10,000 used Aerojet for connecting flights. Remember what I was telling you? Totaling over 66,000 passengers for the month. See, this is what I'm saying, ladies and gentlemen. This is going to be special. And he anticipates over 70,000 passengers in December. Once again, I love it when we have a regular old prediction that should be about right. So just keep in mind, if you are investing in this region of the world, whether it's business, whether it's real estate, or anything else, entertainment, restaurants, excursions, there is so much opportunity that is coming your way, ladies and gentlemen. Now is the time to think about getting in. If you have any questions, show up on a live stream. Send me an email at support at stopstrugglingnow.com. We have the lawyers. You want business? You want real estate? We have lawyers that we know are top notch. They'll help you. You can start your businesses over there. You can get your bank accounts open rapidly as long as you have the right paperwork. And that's why we have the lawyers. All you got to do is call us and you guys need to get on board. And by the way, if you're going to do business in the Dominican Republic and you are not Dominican, and even if you are, you need an attorney for whatever you are doing. If you're doing real estate, we say Johan Confidante. If you say, hey, I want to do business, then I say Glenny Hatchet Cuevas. Either way, top notch. That's who we're going with. And I suggest you do as well. And let them know you came from the SSN Nation because you get a little bit of special love, ladies and gentlemen. And with all that said, thank you for watching. Thank you for listening. And please like, subscribe, and click the bell below so you get the latest updates. And I know it's hard out here. And that's why we have to set it up, ladies and gentlemen. No credit check, no qualifying, no barriers to entry to get your foot in the door on real estate and get your foot in the door on starting your own business. It's simple. It's not that hard when you have the lawyers and you have the infrastructure and you have the accountants. That's all you got to remember. And with all that said, keep your head up, keep moving, and I'm out.